thank you so much for being here. It's so nice to meet you. So nice to meet you, too. It's great to have you here in person, too. This thank is awesome. Thank you. I mean, this is my first time on the set. I'm yeah, so exactly. Excited. Well, welcome. We welcome you. Warm welcome here. Thank and like, you. And also, you know, stranger to it, you did an episode of Fearless with Ashley Graham. I did. Right, tell us about that. Yeah, that was amazing. Like? I, oh my God, such amazing memories. You know, for work, I usually have to, like, do runways and mm -hmm. photo shoots. And it was really nice to do something that was so meaningful and that mm -hmm. touched someone. Mm -hmm. So that was an amazing experience. I love that. Now, I know you have a lot, you inspire a lot of people, you do. You. And, but with that, there, there comes the tag of, of role model, which you, which you kind of have a special relationship mm -hmm. with that tag. Tell us about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't believe in role models per se, like the title role model, because I don't think anyone should be put up on a pedestal, mm -hmm. unless you're Beyonce. Hey, you know exactly. I mean? That's but, a fact. That's a fact. Absolutely. But other than that, I mean, I I don't I don't acknowledge the term role model. I think of myself as an inspiration, and I like to pull inspiration from everyone else. But we're all mm -hmm. human. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. And also, if we're just if we're just doing our part and being the best person that we can, we're all shining light for all of us to follow. Precisely. Anyway, right? Absolutely, exactly. love that. Now, listen. I understand during the quarantine you started dating, right? <laughs> Uh, tell us how you how you met your boyfriend because we're listen we're all locked down we hadn't been going anywhere how did how did y'all meet? Um, so I got a DM a year prior from mm -hmm. my boyfriend, mm -hmm. and I never seen it. I, I don't know what the glitch in the system mm -hmm. with uh, Instagram <laughs> is, but that never came up for me. Mm -hmm. um, a year later, at the top of quarantine, he DM me again. He posted a picture of me in like an outfit, and I was mm -hmm. like. Oh, hi. That he, just was... posted a, he just posted a picture. Yeah, he shot his shot, you know? Wow. He just slid in the okay. DM. Yeah. So um, that was cute. And I was like, oh, hey, like, how's quarantine been? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we kind of just started talking from there. And then he was like, after a month of being on FaceTime for 24 hours every single day for right. a month, he was like, you got to come to L.A. And I've been in L.A. ever since. That was a year ago. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. Yo, we can clap for that. Yeah. That was a, bo was a bold shot. It was yeah. a bold shot. <laughs> Now, he's, he's also a ball player, which I, which I know he's very, very tall. You're tall, right? So, I am. like, I mean, how, how, what is that, that, well, that height difference like? I'm tall. Right. I'm a model. Right. I'm 5'9. Um, Kyle is a basketball player, and <laughs> he is like 6'11, 6 6'10, 6 or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, you have to he's look really up tall, to him. yeah. yeah. Um, I, but I love, every time I post a picture or a video of us, everyone's like, oh my God, I stand the height difference. Oh my God, I ship that. So it's cute, I love it. That's awesome. Now let's talk about this, uh, uh, like the, the, suit, the world of supermodel. You've done some incredible photo shoots, you know, on, uh, on horses, on camels. Uh, talk to me about this, this cat story. I understand oh. the truth. <laughs> well, I mean, I love animals, so it's mm -hmm. always amazing. The only thing with cats is I'm allergic. Mm -hmm. So I, I pulled up on set to do this shoot and immediately my throat was itching and my eyes were watering and I was like, um, excuse me, is there a cat on set? And they were like, yeah, oh my gosh, how'd you know? We're shooting with a cat today, the cover's gonna be a cat, this shot's gonna be a cat, that shot, I was like, Oh, that's great. Um, so I'm allergic. Yeah, it's like my throat is cold. <laughs> yeah, I can't breathe. Um, and I was like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Can I get some um, allergy medicine and we'll just kill the shots? Mm -hmm. And I even took some like cat food and put it in my mouth so the cat would come really close for some shots. I, you have to commit, you wow, know? Wow, that's, com yo, that, and that, that's, the shot is and worth it. And that cat was very feisty, so I was very scared I was going to lose the <laughs> eye, but you gotta commit. When I you're, any job you go for, anything you do in life, you have to commit, so I just went for it. That's a fact, and speaking <laughs> of commitment, we gotta talk about the new season of Making the Cut. Ooh. Please. So this, you're judging this season. Please tell us about it, love that show. Well, I mean, I'm judging this season. It's yeah. insane, you know, I'm, I'm working with amazing people, iconic people, Jeremy Scott, mm -hmm. Heidi Klum, um, mm -hmm. the previous season was Naomi Campbell, mm -hmm. so I'm so honored to be in that list of such iconic people. Mm -hmm. um, this season I, is obviously a bit different. Last season they had the opportunity to travel so many different places. Right, right. And with COVID, we filmed everything in Malibu. Right. Um, but I think the passion is still there. All mm -hmm. the designers are so passionate about everything that they're creating, mm -hmm. and you can see the passion in their clothes. I love it. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait to see it. Y'all make sure y'all check it out, too. The newest 100%. season of Making the Cut premieres July 16th on Amazon Prime. Y'all, this is the legendary Winnie Harlow. Thank you so much for Thank being here. You. We'll be back. <laughs> 